Ooh, that's meta. Hey guys, sorry for the lay of this review. Work has been really busy, uh, but I went and saw Lego Batman a few days ago. I really, really enjoyed the Lego movie. It was a big surprise for me. The amount of constant action, the humor, the meta sort of look at whatever theme that Lego had taken on, even their own themes. The Bionicle joke is still one of my favorite jokes from that entire movie. This one was very meta in terms of looking at the state of Batman movies. They even outright call out the years in which the previous films have come out in terms of when uh, Alfred comments on when Batman has been brooding. The movie begins with Will Arnett basically calling out the tropes of all sort of superhero movies. And it was hilarious because that was exactly how how uh, Christopher Nolan did the openings for all of his Batman movies. And so I thought that was pretty good. There was a lot of good meta jokes, that's the one thing. It didn't get over, it didn't get too much. That was the one thing I was a little bit afraid of, is that they would keep doing this joke over and over again. Eventually it kind of phases out, but really the beginning and somewhat in the middle, there's a lot of jokes that kind of poke fun, a lot of fun, at the entire idea of what Batman is. The action, on the other hand, is cool, but I'd almost call it white noise, in the sense that there's a lot of stuff going on, sometimes it's, it's so sporadic and it's so intense and fast that you don't catch all of it, but at points you almost don't care because you know how it will end. What I more so mean is in the final climax, I literally was not into it. I was kind of like, oh, yeah, he's flying around, eventually he's gonna, you know, stop the Joker and blah blah blah. I just, I don't know, I just, I kind of felt like I didn't, I didn't have any sort of grip into the character's peril. But this, I know this is a kid's movie, and I know it's kind of stereotypical, but I think there was just so much going on that it kind of desensitized me, and I just kind of was just along for the ride. Ergo, that happened to me also in the Lego movie, too. There's like so much action going on that eventually that it's just so, so much that Anytime there's downtime, that you're just like, why? Why aren't we going like faster, faster, faster? I still like this movie. I still enjoyed it. I think it's really good. I don't think it's as good as everyone's saying it is, though. Everyone, some websites, IAGN and a few others, put this as the second best Batman movie ever. The only reason why it is this good of a movie is because of the movies that came before it. That's more so what I'm saying is the meta jokes really got to me. I like, I was laughing out loud at some points when no one else was. I, maybe it was because I understood the joke. This movie is riding off of previous films, which is exactly what a parody movie is. And I don't know, it just, I like this movie, but I don't think it's the second best Batman movie of all time. I, someone even ranked this above Mask of the Phantasm, which is one of my favorite ones ever. I'm kind of getting gripey on it. I like the cast. I think that they did some creative things. They did poke fun at the ideals of what Batman is and they did actually some things that I actually was kind of surprised with. But in the end it's still just a Lego movie and it's enjoyable but I don't know I kind of forgot everything that happened right afterwards. So in the end I'm gonna give Lego Batman a 4 out of 7. It's an enjoyable time. I'm not disagreeing with that. I enjoyed it. I had fun watching it. I just won't ever really care if I ever watch it again. That's just my opinion. It, I'm not saying it's a bad movie. I'm just saying I enjoyed it but I just didn't, I wouldn't care if I ever saw it again. Anyway guys, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed this review. I'll see you guys next time.